Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we're looking at the back side of redox number three. We are balancing equations today in basic or what we call alkaline solution. So let's find our half reactions. Bi OH sub three gives me Bi and SnO2 minus gives me SnO3 minus. One bismuth, one bismuth, one tin, one tin. That's good. Three oxygens, so I add three waters. Three oxygens, two oxygens, so I add one water. Now two times three is six hydrogens. And I've already got three. So I'm going to add three waters. And on the other side, three hydroxides. Remember, this is where we're adding H2O and OH- minus at the same time. Opposite sides of the equation. Okay, so two waters, I'm sorry, two hydrogens, so I'm going to add two waters and two hydroxides. All right, electrons. So I've got a need for three electrons here, and I have a need for two electrons there. So I'm going to have to multiply everything on top by two and everything on the bottom by three. So what that's going to give me is six electrons, six waters, two BiOH sub three, two Bi, two times three is six waters, two times three is six hydroxides. For the next one, two times three is going to be six hydroxides, three waters, three SnO2 minus to give me three SnO3 minus two times three is six waters and six electrons. Good. Six electrons cancel six electrons. Six hydroxides cancel six hydroxides. Six and three is nine waters. Six and six is twelve. So all nine of these will go and leave me with just three. So I have two Bi OH sub three plus three SnO2 minus to give me two Bi plus three SnO3 minus and three H2O. There we go, that is number five. You'll note that the charge is the same on both sides of the equation. Okay. Number six. Number six is one of those disproportionation reactions. That's where one species is both oxidized and reduced. So two and two to balance the chlorines. I can just throw in the two electrons right now. I got two oxygens, so I'm gonna add two waters. 2 times 2 is 4, so I'm going to add 4 waters. We're going to have some stuff canceling there. And 4 hydroxides. All right. Electrons, it's going to be 2 electrons over there. All right. The 2 electrons cancel. But so do these 2 waters make that into a 2. Okay. So I've got 2 Cl2 plus 4 OH minus gives me 2Cl minus, 2ClO minus, and 2H2Os, which I can simplify by dividing everything by 2. I'm getting Cl2 plus 2OH minus gives me Cl minus plus ClO minus plus an H2O. There we go, number 6. All right, so now, Number seven, MnO4 minus gives me MnS. I'm going to need sulfur, so I'm going to take and put in this S2 minus also. And then S2 minus goes to S as a solid. Cool. Manganese, manganese, sulfur, 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 sulfur. So now, oh, oxygens. Four oxygens, so I add four waters. 2 times 4 is 8, 
So I'm going to add eight waters and eight hydroxides. Electrons. Uh, that was a two minus, so I'm just going to add two electrons there. Two minus and one minus, there's an eight, so this is going to be five electrons on this side. Okay. So I've got to multiply everything on top by two and everything on the actually just to give me five sulfur and ten electrons. Ten electrons will cancel ten electrons. Eight waters will turn sixteen into eight. So what am I left with now? Eight waters and seven sulfide and two permanganate to give me 2 MnS and 16 hydroxides and 5 sulfurs. All right. So 2 times 7 is 14 minus and 2 more is 16 minus and from the hydroxides 16 minus. All right. Looks good. Okay. So in this next one, you're going to notice we have one of these disproportionation reactions again. Br2 turns into Br minus, and Br2 turns into BrO3 minus. So I'm going to put a 2 there and a 2 there right away. And actually, I can just throw in the two electrons straight off. Three oxygens, so I add three waters. 2 times 3 is 6 hydrogens, so 6 waters and 6 hydroxides, 6 minus, and a 2 minus. So that looks a lot like I'm going to need some more electrons on this side. So 6 minus, 2 minus, I'm going to add 4 electrons. Okay, so I am going to need to multiply everything on the top by 5. No, no, that's not going to work. Let's go back and double check this. Br2 goes to 2Br minus. Two electrons there. Yes, Br2 to 2BrO3. Three waters, 2 times 3 is 6. Six waters, six hydroxides. Okay. So then, six minus, I already have two minus, so four electrons. All right, something is wrong here. So we're going to, we're going to read number eight. There's the mistake. I can edit that out. Okay, so we can just take a little break there. Cut that over. No, don't even need to do that. Okay, number eight, Br2. Gonna give you disproportionation to form Br minus, and BrO3 minus is, oh, I'm sorry. I am screwing this one up so badly today.
Okay, let's look at number eight. Br2 gives us Br minus the disproportionation again. And Br2 gives us Br03 minus. So I put a two there and I put a two there. That balances the bromines. I can actually just throw in the two electrons right away. Two times three is six oxygens. So with six oxygens, I add six waters. Two times six is 12, so I add 12 waters and 12 hydroxides. 12 minus and two minus is a difference of 10, so I'm gonna add 10 electrons. I can multiply this by five. I'll rewrite it below it. I've got 10 electrons plus five Br2s gives me 10 Br minus. All right, 10 electrons cancels. Six waters turns 12 into six. So now five Br minuses and one Br, I'm sorry, five Br2s and one Br2 ends up giving me six Br2s. So I have 12 OH minus plus six Br2s to give me two BrO3 minus plus now I have 10 Br minuses and six H2Os. I'm seeing everything there can be divisible by two. So six OH minus plus three Br2 gives me BrO3 minus plus five Br minus and three H2Os. There we go, number eight. Okay, our last one here. PO3 three minus goes to PO4 three minus and MnO4 minus goes to MnO2, one phosphorus, one phosphorus, one manganese, one manganese. Okay, four oxygens and three oxygens, so I am gonna add a water. Okay, four, two, I add two waters. All right, now hydrogens, two there, so two waters and two hydroxides. Four oxygens, two, so two times two is four hydrogens, so four waters and four hydroxides. Two minus and three minus, and over here three minus, so I'm gonna add two electrons. Four minus and one minus, I'm gonna add three electrons. Multiply everything by three, multiply everything by two. So let's rewrite this. Six OH minus plus three H2O plus three PO3 three minus gives me three PO4 three minus, six H2O and six electrons. For the next one, two times three is six electrons plus eight waters plus two MnO4 minus to give me two MnO2, four waters, and two times four is eight hydroxides. The six electrons cancel. Now, six and eight on the hydroxides will turn into two. Three and eight is 11, and six and four is 10. So all those disappear, leaving me with just one. So I have three PO3, three minus, plus H2O, plus two MnO4 minus, yielding three PO4, three minus, plus two MnO2, and two hydroxides. And that is number nine. All right. Thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan signing off.